Hey YouTubers, Diecast Collectors, it's Jared White, the J-Man, 6-3. Shout out to all my fellow J-Rods out there. Anyway guys, it was um, August 12th this past, it was my birthday. So big thanks to everybody who showed up on my birthday and everything that everyone did for me. And just thank you so much. Anyway, I had a good birthday. Got a lot of cool stuff here to show you. Some really neat things. So yeah, I was really happy. And um, just awesome, awesome stuff. Anyway guys, I'm going to get right on down to it and show you the stuff here. So it was a good turnout. I had fun. My dad and Sheila made me an awesome cake that was just amazing. So like I said, just a awesome day. So, the first thing I got here is a couple of Rat Fink pens. My dad got me these off of Ed Roth's official site. This one is Tales of the Rat Fink. Or, uh, yeah, of the Rat Fink. I thought I said of a Rat Fink for a second there. This pen is of Rat Fink himself. It says Rat Fink down there on the bottom. And then there's a Wild Child. So these are some really cool pens. Just was super happy to get these. And I got the shirt, the Rat Fink shirt. This is batiked. It was off of an, an Etsy shop. It was actually done with wax. And if you look on the reverse, it's actually here it's been dyed. It's actually dyed on the reverse too. So yeah, there's not just the front, not just the front of it, but also the reverse as well. So it's a dyed shirt. It's not really a graphic tee. So it's really cool. Anyway, they also got me a camera, the SX420 IS that I'm shooting this video with right now. Power shot in a shiny red color. It's a really shiny camera. It's really nice. So I was really happy to get that. Um, that's the reason I haven't been getting videos out. My camera was messed up and the memory stick broke off. And my dad took it to Canon to get it fixed, and they actually gave me a replacement. So it's really nice. Nice of them to do that for me. Also, my dad got me a Koosh ball. Just a random thing here, because I like the feeling of these kind of when I roll them in my hands. I kind of like how Koosh balls feel a little bit. See so how they feel kind of good on the hands. They're nice to roll. It's a good fidget toy too, kind of, you can pull it and do all that with it. Used, used to be something fun I used to like to play with. And they also got me a, as a funny thing, they got me a $100 gift certificate for Toys R Us. Sheila printed this up for me, it says you're a Toys R Us kid. Toys R Us. This is pretty cool, $100 gift certificate, I kind of like it. Pretty neat. Neat little whimsical thing, because I like Toys R Us. I actually got something from to a couple of things from Toys R Us in this haul. So, yep. And the last thing Dad and Sheila got me was a Legends of the Quarter Mile 118th scale car. Sheila got me this. Um, it was actually a very good price. It was $47 on eBay, or $43 actually. So, if you can find these for a good price and you can pick them up for cheap, I highly recommend it. Actually, it was kind of funny. The first time I got something from this guy, uh, the car was kind of messed up. There were a few pieces that were off of it that I had to have a friend fix. It was the Connie Kalita car. But this one actually arrived in good shape. I think it was an issue with the shipper. I don't think it was the uh, store I bought it from at all. So, thankfully, this one came in good shape, great shape, very good shape. So yes, was happy to get this one. All right, so now moving on, my Aunt Lenny got me a couple cars. She got me the John Wick 1969 Ford Mustang Boss 429. This was actually, she got this for me at Hobby Lobby a while ago. This was when I went to Ohio, so yeah. This was kind of a birthday gift. I'm counting this as one of those. Um, I like the movie John Wick. It's a really good movie. It's one of my favorites. And having another Mustang doesn't hurt. And this one's really shiny. I like the color on this one. Really cool car. And she also got me this from... These were two for, were from Hobby Lobby. So yeah, these were Hobby Lobby buys. International Workstar Dump Truck. Nice blue color. Thought this was really cool. Love Greenlight Series 3. 
of H of SD trucks series. Really cool. And I also got the BattleBots Arena. These were from my mom. And this was actually another really good deal from Toys R Us. This was actually about um, $43, $47, something like that. I'm actually going to review this soon here. I'm going to try and get my camera over to my dad's tonight. And I think we're going to try and review this thing. Really cool head-to-head -head remote control combat. Pretty neat thing. Absolutely love BattleBots, so I was happy to get this. has working pulverizers. And you can see all the information here on the back about the robots and all. Got Tombstone and Witch Doctor. Really cool. And here's the bots themselves. I don't want to knock off any armor here. It has Tombstone with the spinning blade. Really cool. And Witch Doctor with the vertical disc. And yeah, the pieces kind of come off here, and if I can get the rear end off, yeah, the, they're magnetized, they snap on, which is pretty cool, pretty neat feature. I remember BattleBots back in the day, but they were just the rinky-dink push toys that you'd, that would just explode apart upon impact, and they were nothing like these. So these are the more advanced versions of that kind of toy. And I also got this, a BMW motorcycle. Really cool. R1200 GS Adventure. And I've actually put it together, believe it or not. It didn't take me very long to assemble this. It has a working kickstand here. The rear suspension works on it. It has opening luggage compartments, which that's pretty cool. You open this one with a little key in the back. And then there's the other side compartment here, which does open. So yeah, these open up, and then the engine reciprocates. It actually has um, shaft drive, like a real BMW bike. So this is one of the more advanced motorcycles of LEGO that I've seen. But yeah, it actually has a real shaft drive with gears and stuff. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then the front end has like double wishbone suspension type. Oh. What double wishbone like tail lever type deal thing that BMW is known for. And then you got the gauge pot up front. So it's a pretty nice model. Anyway guys, like I said, thank you for the turnout for everyone who came and especially to the people that made my birthday possible. My dad and Sheila, the cake that they made me it was awesome guys. I mean for everybody that showed up it was awesome, awesome, awesome. Like I said, I had a great birthday. Another year, I'm turning, I turned 27 and I'm getting to be an old fart. Yep. Anyway, guys, fellow J Rods, make sure you rate, comment, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and give me a thumbs down if you want. Um, anyway, guys, have a good one. Bye.